My answer doesn't change. I would love to be here. I, you know, I got drafted here. They stuck with me through my lowest time, so I for sure want to be here. Charlotte Hornets, you already know what it is. We got the trade deadline, but earlier today, Miles Bridges, you know, him and Rich Paul, they really imposed their will on the Charlotte Hornets in the 11th hour uh, when it seems like Rich Paul was getting active. Um, and you've seen PJ out the door. You've seen guys getting waved. We'll get into it. Uh, but Miles made sure he was safe today. Um, and obviously, I'm going to give credit to his representation. That's why I got a crew. We're going to be circling around Mr. Rich Paul because this was a Richie Paul move <laughs> that was pulled, you know, today uh, to keep him in the Queen City because he was on the way out the door, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Phoenix was um, on the table. And I'm going to get to why, you know, you want to stay in Charlotte and not chase a championship with a team that has the pieces to do so. He would have been dangerous in Phoenix, but we'll talk to talk about that later. Um, we all know Miles Bridges, uh, with this contract that he signed over the offseason, he had veto power um, and he enacted it. He will be an unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. Let's see if he has that same loyalty to Charlotte when he's an unrestricted free agent. You'll start seeing him start taking dates and flyers from other people. Let's see if you have that energy. It's flight sports. Listen, make sure you subscribe. I got my man Chief in the building. Listen, we got the trade deadline, the Charlotte Hornets. They they they, they cleaning house. Um, wh what was your thoughts on this Miles Bridges situation? He w got himself safe this morning. Um, it's wild. It seemed like him and Rich Paul designed the coup. What, what, what happened? I think that I think Rich Paul decided to. Um, I think it was a it was classic Rich Paul, baby. It was a leverage move. You know, get the interest, get the interest started now. You know what I'm saying? Put deals on the table. You know, he wanted to see. Hey, we playing poker, baby. I want to see what cards y'all got. Let's see. Let me put some cards on the table right quick. And then when he saw. Some of the trends and everything. He said, "No, let's yank this. Let's uh, let's wait till the summertime to revisit this whole thing." You know, because he was on every. It wasn't just Phoenix. It was several teams and rumors that was on the table. When when Ryan Winhurst said that Miles will be given options of where to pick, when he didn't just say Phoenix, although Phoenix was the main one out front, there were other suitors, and according to Brian Winhurst they was going to lay out different scenarios for miles to pick. And obviously he chose not to pick any of them. So they are going to kick this. They're going to kick this uh, can down to the off season flight. There are people who are saying this means miles is going to stay and all this stuff. And I'm saying, telling everybody to hold on, hold on until miles bridges is in the press conference on the other side of a GM, wherever that team is, that is when you know where he'll stay. And this is rich Paul we're dealing with. So, yeah, if like they just this it's it's a it's a they they're dueling. This is contract. This is contract games, man. You know, leverage is important. It is what it is. Yeah, especially if they. Uh oh, go ahead. No, no, no. I was about to um just add into the, to that point, man. It, it, I I feel everything that you're saying right there with Miles, man. Um. It's just crazy to me at the end of the day. Uh, it seems like they're trying to get a big contract. He missed out on his money, you know, with these allegations. That's really what all of this is really stemming from. Because yes. I think if we don't have these allegations, he's locked up already. Uh, Go ahead. $174 million fumbled. Do you hear me? That was on the table the day, the night before. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm not laughing at him. I'm just the situation. So that they're not gonna bag, recoup. I don't think they're gonna recoup all. Oh no, oh no, no, no. He's not gonna get that bag. No, yeah, not that. That's over. Oh no, that's a wrap. He fumbled that big time. That's on him. He failed. I think know. the Hornets needed to. He would have needed to have a winning season because right now I'm gonna be honest with you. He's stat padded. I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I gotta say, I just gotta call it how I gotta say it. Um, you got because you looking at 45 points. 41. Like, I mean, he just stockpiling points on the bad team now. 
You know, how he went from this, 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 that. Now he ain't 45 and all of this That's around right. the trade deadline. He started to stat pad his stats. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, leverage. And that's why I asked earlier, um, like, you know, when I had this discussion earlier, that's why I asked, um, will Miles now force the issue to keep that going? You know, if he begins to chase his numbers, that's going to disrupt the team chemistry with him trying to collect his bag. So there's a thin line he has to walk going forward. Right now, the Hornets are not going to win anything. But what you want to see with the changes they've made, you want to see you want to see them kind of gel and at least still, you know, even though the season is a disaster, you do want them to end on the high note flight. You want them to at least go on some type of run so you can get so hell, so the fan base can be excited even for next season. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. That is Yeah, you man. Did. That is interfered with when now he wants to go outside of the team to collect his bag. And Miles has done this before two years ago. Now, some may not like uh, what I said, but he did it two years ago. He did this same thing two years ago. And I think it's dishonest to say that he was not in a contract year two years ago chasing his bag and doing certain things to make sure he get leverage to get that bag. And he almost succeeded. Uh, how, how important was LaMelo in all of this? You know, because I just feel if, if Melo wasn't in the picture, this was the Utah Jazz another team i think he would have been out of there already there seems to be a lot of grace a lot of patience um with this bridges situation uh what, what part what part do you think Melo is playing in on all of this with bridges because we do know the connection there is strong the connection is strong and Lamelo has been Lamelo has stood by miles bridges through all of it you know to show loyalty i mean gonna switch up on you these other things and now that he has fully got the keys you know, so um, they respect his input. Now, the question is, you know, um, does Miles have the same type of loyalty to LaMelo that he's had to him? And so my, you know, so yeah, LaMelo was definitely, his influence has kept him there. But now, you know, Miles is looking for his bag. So that trumps whatever they have going on, like, He's out to collect his bag regardless, you know. If he can do it, you know, there with the mellow. Hey, thank you, gang, gang, baby. But we can be gang, gang off season. I got a bag to collect, you know. And so that's why I see it, bro. Uh, and like I said, also get winning some games too. You know? That's right. But in closing, it seems like the report came out today that the Hornets' goal is to re-sign Miles. Um do you think they get it done or do we see Miles with another team next year? Uh, that's 50-50. It depends. Miles may want to stay because to show loyalty to the Hornets as they've shown it to him and do them a solid. But, flight, like, Rich Paul is a factor. Yeah, you're right about that. Rich Paul going to get his money. Um, so, no, the agent got to get paid too, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, it's, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, only time will tell. But listen, it's, it's going down. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. Shout out to the Chief. Let them know where they can find you. Tribe Sports Media, baby. You heard with the mess.